Hey friends, how we all doing today? It is Saturday night, it's your buddy Keith here again in the live room, not live room, control room. I'm live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England, and I've got yet another awesome ESP to share with you today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, come join the circle of friends, it's totally free. Click like on the video, leave a comment, leave some love, and you're in the guitar gang you're in the circle of friends yes all right and what we do is pretty much every day i buy guitars from all over the world and share them up close and in person so that you get a really good idea of what they're like as if you were holding them in your very own hands at your local guitar shop because let's face it not everyone can go to their local guitar shop not everyone even has a local guitar shop but not many can go and see something like this ESP 400 series hanging on the wall. Not every day. We also sell them. So it is for sale on EssexRecordingStudios.com. Hosted by our good buddies Reverb.com. They're such good buddies that gave us a free hat. Check that out. And uh, you can also record with it. Because we are a recording studio. So every guitar you see on our website. If you want to record with it. Just come on down. All right. So, this is a later, late 80s ESP 400 series, and we know this because of the shape of the headstock. It doesn't have the uh, Fender traditional style headstock shape, as others do. Just check out my YouTube channel. We've had two that have the early shape, the pre-lawsuit, I guess you could say. Um, other little differences, you've got one volume, one tone, as opposed to three knobs, this has had this has a Wilkinson tremolo, which is just awesome. Serious heavy duty. Uh, Goto owns Wilkinson, Japanese brand. And if we look at the back, check out these tuners, Cluson Deluxes, just like the old Gibbos, as they say over here, the Gibsons. Got the Made in Japan stamp, serial numbers inside the neck pocket, and yeah. Just your classic kind of eggshell white strat. Nice neck, one piece maple. Real nice. Get in focus. Come on, let's show this wood. There we are. Yeah. Got a rosewood fretboard with uh, Mother of Pearl. Markers, it looks like. Very, very nice. And I like a black pick guard with black pickups on a white uh, body. I just think it looks very, uh, very 80s Adrian Paul kind of Iron Maiden metal. You know, it looks very super strat. I dig it. Very, very cool. It's got a few little marks here and there i mean the, the thing's 30 years old so it's gonna happen guys and we're gonna put this up for a very reasonable price certainly much much cheaper like half of what anything with this on its headstock would cost new today if you want something with esp on the headstock brand new get ready to bust that piggy bank because you're gonna be going broke it is outrageous how expensive guitars are these days from uh when i was in high school in the late 90s early 2000s to now i mean prices have like at least doubled if not tripled in in some instances and in some instances even more it's out of control guys that's why uh that's why we go back to the old school and deal in these what it's now called vintage model man how crazy is that something from the Something from like 88 or 89 being called vintage. That means I'm vintage. I was born in 85. I don't like that at all. All right. Well, stick around on the channel, guys, because we've got a lot more videos coming up. We just did one of this ESP Edwards with the giant mahogany baseball bat neck. It is awesome. Great Les Paul. Oh, yeah. That video is uploaded already. We've got the, ooh, hiding back there. What's in that big case? That's a James Hetfield snake bite. ESP, not the LTD. ESP in white as well. So stick around, you may see that. 
All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Saturday night. I'm going to go grab a beer and get back to work making more videos for y'all. All right? See you soon. Stick around.